Hello, I'm Simon, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Trend Digital Depth Gauge, which I recently bought as an accessory for my router table. Let's get started. This is a review of the Trend Digital Depth Gauge 60mm. This one cost me £16 from Amazon. It's about $16. You will find, if you look on Amazon, that there are many makes that look exactly the same. Um, my guess is it is exactly the same. Probably the only difference might be the packaging and the instructions that you get with it. Um, because the actual units all look exactly the same. And they vary in price from about £16 up to about £30. Now my initial impressions, if I just open it up, are... We have the gauge here. This looks and feels quite cheap, um, but then it was cheap, so um, I can't really complain about that. It is what it is. You get um, a nice little cardboard booklet with the instructions in, um, but being a bloke, I won't be using those. And then you get instructions in other languages, including English. Um, in a little pamphlet and I won't be reading those either. Here we can see the unit will stand up on its own two feet. There are magnets in the in the bottom of its feet so if you have a steel or cast iron unit then it does stand up nicely on steel and you know they're not terribly strong, but they're strong enough to hold it up and feel like it's not going to wobble and fall over. On material such as this foam, it's a little bit more wobbly. If we try it on a piece of wood, then again, um, it's always going to stand up. It feels fine. So that's good. It has a little foot here, which just comes off those little bits there, and it stores up here, like so. And the reason for that is we have a little depth gauge here, which doesn't look that strong, but it allows you then to measure holes. You can just take that off. It's quite loose fitting but it, it's, it, it seems to do the job. And that is stored handily on here because you will lose that if it doesn't have a storage space. So the gauge has an on off button which also acts as a zero. To turn it off you press the button and hold it. It also has an absolute and an incremental mode and the way that that works is that in the absolute mode it just works as you'd expect gives you a reading from wherever it was zeroed to wherever you put it in incremental mode so if I just put this on say 30 in incremental mode if I press increment it zeroes the meter but it hasn't forgotten the absolute position and if that, I can then measure the incremental amount and if I say put that on 10 then when I go back to absolute I can see the the absolute value which is 40.4 now and on incremental it can go to zero again and then I can measure say another 10 and that should now say 51 if I go back 51 so it remembers so that's quite a nice feature it also allows you to measure in millimeters inches and it's got inch, inches using rather than decimals it uses fractions so here it says two inches and one and thir one thirty second of an inch now if there isn't a exact fraction available then it will show the decimals and then as you go up it will start to um, redisplay the fractions again as you hit them 
So that's quite a nice feature. So the main use of this depth gauge is going to be measuring the height of your cutting tool on your router table. So I'm now going to go over to the router table, we're going to set up some cuts and then we'll measure how deep the cuts are and see if they correlate with what we think we'd set the, um, the height to. At the moment I get about a millimetre accuracy. So that looks like it's pretty close to 10. Let me just lock it off. So let's zero that. That says it's 10.2. So I set it up and it was at 10.05 and it's cut at 10.2. So that's pretty good. 0.1 or 0.2 of a millimetre isn't really an issue for me. So my conclusion is that for your average DIY tinkerer, this cheap looking and cheap depth gauge probably does the job you want it to do which is quickly and easily allow you to get your router bit to the right depth so that you can make your cuts. So in summary the Trend Digital Depth Gauge looks and feels a bit cheap but it is cheap. Does it do a good job? I think it's going to improve the accuracy of my routing when I'm routing dados and rebates so it gets my thumbs up if you've enjoyed this review perhaps it'll get your thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching